Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially just a few days away from the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC coming to GTA Online this Tuesday on December 13th. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't just yet. And of course, stay tuned for the launch stream happening at 9 a.m. UK on that Tuesday, December 13th. As for the video itself and everything that you want to know, first and foremost, we're going to have to establish how much money you're going to need for the DLC. This is probably going to be the same as every single time we release a DLC. At the very least, you're going to need $5 million for the assumed business that we'll be getting. Typically, a DLC like this launches with a new property, which is at least $2 million and some upgrades. So typically at $5 million, you're pretty fine and dandy. $10 million is a more comfortable place to be. It will allow you to possibly do some more upgrades to your business, especially with it possibly being a passive business. Some staff upgrades and that sort of stuff might come along the way too. And some vehicles to go along with it for potentially selling might be pretty good too. $20 million is the goal that I guess most of you would want to have because then you can be extra sure that you're good to go, can buy all the vehicles that you desire, etc, etc. But really it's that five to ten million dollar range where you typically want to be in for a DLC. And of course, if you're not sure whether or not it's actually worth even investing in the business to begin with, you can also of course wait until I release my guide on it in case that is worthy of a guide at all. I'll be sure to let you know in a video coming next week. As for vehicles, typically supercars are between two and three million nowadays. Sports cars are between one and a half and two and a half million dollars. And generally speaking, you're going to need at least a million dollars per car at the very least. As for how to make your money, currently Bunker is double money and RP, so make sure to sell, sell, sell as much as you can. Especially now you can sell in infinite only sessions, it is something very much looking into. If you're a bit of a daredevil or have some friends to be able to help you out, a full Bunker in a public session will make you close to $3 million, if not more. Very much worth the risk. If you are a bit of a daredevil, I personally find it worth it, but it's entirely up to you. And if it's worth investing into a bunker just for the next coming days, I wouldn't say so. If you have money laying around and you're planning a more of a long-term plan, then maybe. But I guess generally nowadays, it's more worth it to just do a heist or two rather than just waiting for hours for your bunker to fill up, at least in my opinion. Other businesses like the biker, nightclub, and but not really your hangar uh, is something that's worth uh, looking into as well to see if you can sell any of that that is uh, kind of laying around with some extra cash, you know, especially that nightclub. I personally tend to forget about it being a thing because it takes so long to fill up. But before you know it, there's a $3 million just waiting for you, off for grabs, and off you go. But as for the hangar, that payout is going to be permanently tripled next week. So maybe it's worth it to just fill it up for if you want to waste some time or just kind of feel like we're playing the missions like i was doing uh, last night uh, on the stream it was quite fun actually to go back and do them again it might not be really the best business still with the missions definitely still take a little while and it can be a bit of a piss take uh, but if you're just looking at it from like something different to do it can be a pretty okay time uh, sorely for making money with the next couple of days probably not but maybe something for the future also, if you haven't sold a business since the Criminal Enterprises DLC back in July, then you will still have the first time double cash bonus to use as well. Obviously, as per usual, also the garages. Have a look through your garages and see if you can sell some of the junk in there that you're not really planning on driving anytime soon. Some of the, for example, cars that you got in the last DLC you were excited about for about two days and then realized that you want to go back to using your HSW vehicle, for example, a worthy thing to to consider selling because that is another million dollars typically in your pocket. Bunkers and the mixed goods for your CEO warehouse are also a quick $100,000 this week considering the fact that every 45 minutes you can just go and do a delivery of these and well it's double cash at the moment it's not a whole lot of money but if you got a spare few minutes or just an empty bank account it can be a pretty big help towards your next goal especially if you don't have a Kasaka yet because indeed indeed we, this is the point of the video where I tell you about the Cayo Perico heist yay look all right fellas look look all right even with the cooldown it's still a super easy and arguably just the best way to make a quick million two million and a half in less than an hour investing into a kasaka if you got the time to do a heist every couple of hours or so definitely won't hurt 
especially if you combine it with a double cash bunker if you do have that laying around. Kuiper Rico High still very much is a money printer, just with a small cooldown. And remember, you don't always have to buy everything on day one, and the Kasaka is still very much more useful in the long run. Unless that new business will be better, but that is something I will honestly doubt, which I will still find worth keeping in mind regardless. And again, I'll be making a guide and letting you know how worth the business is next week. Obviously, if you don't have or are just sick and tired of the words Kuiper Rico Heist and so much so that you can't even be bothered to turn on the game to play it, then you can also opt for some other things uh, like, for example, any of the other heists. But unfortunately, you're going to need to have a buddy or two for that. So feel free to use the comment section down below to find someone if you need someone. Payphone hits can also be a pretty decent way of making some money this week if you do have an agency. But if there's really nothing that you got going on in businesses or properties whatsoever, then I suppose it's time for UAP missions because there are double cash and RP this week. It's not super great, but it can make you a few extra bucks which might lighten the burden ever so slightly. Collection time and resurrection adversary modes are also double cash and RP. It's not amazing, it's highly based on time, and even after the buff in the last DLC, I don't entirely see them being the biggest money makers of all time, but it can be some pretty decent money making, and well, the game modes themselves aren't too bad, especially if you kind of know what you're doing in the PvP area and GTA Online, this should be some very easy money. And that is pretty much all there is to it. That is how you can make yourself some money for the DLC. As I said before, and I'll say it again, uh, Tuesday, December 13th, 9 a.m. UK time, the launch stream for the GTA Online Los Santos Drug Wars DLC. Stay tuned, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch as well to stay updated with all the latest and greatest things in GTA Online and its upcoming DLC. Thank you all very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed or found it useful. Subscribe for more. And if you really like what you see on the channel, become a member like Chloe, KFC Chicken, GTA Plus, Not Fatigue, and Maddie. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all later.